Lake Havasu City is home to many talented individuals who have made a name for themselves in entertainment. One such aspiring group is the punk band TV Tragedy. <laughs> Mouse. My name is Joe. Jacob Cornelius <laughs> My name is also Joe. My name is Trevor. I have been singing since I was in ninth grade. So uh, it's been around a decade. I have been playing guitar since I was nine years old. So it's been about 11 years and I've been playing bass for the people as long because you can do one. You can play guitar, you can play bass, but not necessarily the other way around. So, yeah. I've been playing drums since fifth grade. So whatever 12 minus 5 is, that's going to be I've been playing guitar since ninth grade. I've been playing guitar since the end of fifth grade, so that's like about 42 years now. Around 2002, I was in seventh grade, and Grandpa's Extreme Skate Park was, you know, throwing well events, with some shows, and bands like Tiger Army and F Minus and Tsunami Bomb came through town, and there was a few local bands like Diverge and the Scumbags that were playing, and really, like, I got lost in it. Like, I was a changed man. I don't know, ever since then I just knew exactly what I wanted. It's just punk rock. Uh, when I was in fifth grade, I was given uh, Green Day's Dookie. And uh, that was dirty. <laughs> I, I was given the album Dookie by Green Day, um, and it pretty much changed my life. And I actually saw them not too long after that, and that kind of uh, really inspired me to want to play music just because of how good they were and like the reaction that they got from the crowd. A lot of the time we have to throw our own shows Houses. and uh, like there, there are stages like at State Beach and Under the London Bridge and we've played those but they're pretty hard to book because you gotta pay money for that. We did a show at the and skate park once though, oh, yeah. where we just showed up and just like played at the skate park. Oh yeah, the Blitz show. That was probably one of the coolest shows ever. Yeah, and we, and awesome. The only reason we, we, had, we did that show is because we don't really book shows for like State Beach. We kind of just show up and play a show and no one knows. 
And uh, one time we showed up there. And there was like and, a quinceanera or something. Yeah, there was already, <laughs> someone was booked, and like all these people were showing up at State Beach expecting to see this punk show. Yeah, yeah and so there was we, a band from out of town, too, and yeah. we told them that we were going to have it all set up, and they were freaking out. Yeah, and so we just, <laughs> just last minute, just moved it uh, across the channel to the skate park, and it ended up being a really, really good yeah, show. Awesome. Yeah, it was that weird. Was one of my favorites, really. Yeah, that it was, was weird, because awesome. I remember pulling up there, like I was a little bit late. And there was like so many people there waiting for this show. And I'm like, all right, let's do this. And nobody told me what was going on. So I walked to the stage and it's just like a bunch of like little Spanish girls just like dancing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what's going on? And I didn't know what was going on. I think the best answer is a garage near you. Yeah. Yeah.